Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel back with another installment of the Hydrogen Electrolyzer Project and the S-Cell. Uh, we've had a slight change of plans with regards to the wiring of the cell plates internally to the, the cavity. You remember last time I had the six gauge wires with the copper lugs that I had to goop all up with the uh, marine adhesive so that they wouldn't eat through and corrode and decompose the copper inside the vessel and Ironhead over at the overunity.com forum came up with a, a suggestion that was just absolutely brilliant in its simplicity. My entire project inside the vessel is made of stainless steel. Why not make the elect the um, conductors feeding the electrodes stainless steel? Now easier said than done but it is still the best approach to do it and I'll show you what you have not seen off camera is a great deal of cutting and measuring and preforming to get these straps of steel uh, of stainless steel to fit properly to mount to the two positive plates and this will go behind the, the acrylic wall for the positive terminal and then of course we have the one in the middle which sits in there like that so I just put this back in the middle slide this into the two end slots as one unit what I'll be doing later tonight is I'm going to be coating the top part of the positive conductor as it crosses over the top of the cells to prevent any leakage from coming down to the cells and unbalancing what I'm attempting to create in the middle here. Uh, put this back into the electrolyte container and voila the terminals line up with the holes that I've already drilled for the other lugs on the 6 gauge wire. You'll also notice I have a quarter inch in, uh, barb fitting to quarter inch MIP tapered thread. I was uh, debating how I was going to mount this in the, in the acrylic and an idea came to me. Drill it just big enough to start the threads, heat it up slightly with a torch, and then allow it to melt its own threads as I screw it into the acrylic, which is what I did. Screwed it in about halfway, allowed it, allowed it to cool, s backed it back out, had some nice threads formed inside the acrylic. I've put some, some goop or marine adhesive. Around the threads, put it back in, I will let that set and I'll have a very nice fitting at the top. Let's see, what else do I want to cover? Okay, one last problem is creating some sort of flexible seal around the top rim that would not stick permanently to the top every time I try to put it on top of the of the chamber. A couple of suggestions came back. Use surgical tubing, use, uh, use a bead of silicone. Very tricky to do. Um, Silicone wasn't a bad idea, but everybody says don't put silicone in the chamber. So if you're gonna if you're gonna put anything in the chamber, if you're not gonna put it in the chamber, why put it as a seal around the edge? Didn't think that was a good idea either. What I came up with, I think, is pretty clever. I'm gonna use some cling wrap, and what I'll do is I'm gonna run a bead of the marine adhesive around the rim. Okay, and then I'm going to even it out with this little tool that I created out of a piece of yet. Yeah, you guessed it, stainless steel 304, and you can see how I've carved a little groove in it. And what that does is it will act as a trowel. I've already tried this, it works pretty well. And after I place my bead of adhesive around the edge of the container, I can just trowel it and smooth it out and create a nice even bead going all the way around. When I'm done, I'm going to take a piece of cling wrap and I'm just going to set the cling wrap stretched tightly but gently on top of the bead and then take my cover and let it sit on top of that. Hmm, let me think about this for a minute. Actually I'm going to let that set up for about an hour before I put the cling wrap on it just so that it skins over. 
then I'm going to set this. Then I'm going to set this on top. I'll uh, put some uh, WD-40 spray silicone on the bottom edge of the lid so that it doesn't stick too hard to the cling wrap as the uh, as it's setting. When it is completely set, I'll take an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to leave the cling wrap to form an edge at the top along the top edge of the marine adhesive. It's very tacky and it always sticks to the cover when I try to put it on if I don't have anything in between. But that thin layer of Glad cling wrap I think is going to make a dandy seal for the for the top cover when, when it's all done. So all I'll do is trim away the excess. It will form itself to the shape of the of the cover and fill in any abnormalities in the in the straightness of these edges and it will be golden. I'm just gonna put my terminal screws in here. Later I'm going to be building a uh, 200 millivolt, 200 amp DC shunt for my digital multimeter so that uh, I can monitor current and only drop a maximum of 200 millivolts going to it should I be happening, happen to draw 200 milliamps. Otherwise if I'm drawing roughly 5 to 10 amps, I will only be dropping 5 to 10 millivolts between the battery and the electrodes inside the chamber. <coughs> that is a thing of beauty. Boy, I like that. Okay, uh, let me start the bead going around the top edge. And I'm going to end the video right here. When I'm done, I w when I come back, I figured I'm going to do I'm going to do the top edge anyway. I needed to let it dry anyway. I wanted to be able to seal the chamber anyway, and that was going to set me back another full day anyway, which is one of the one of the other factors that that helped me in my decision to trash the the six gauge copper wire inside the inside the uh, electrolyzer chamber and go all stainless steel as was suggested to me on the forums. Hope you're having fun so far. We're gonna we're gonna come back uh, when we do. We'll have the cover assembled, and I promise tomorrow night we will be generating some HHO zero fossil fuel. Signing out for now. Everybody have a good evening.